INS Virat the best ship of Indian Navy all time. The INS Virat for a full one year and start by saying that in my 40 year naval career, that stint was the best ever. Mariners say all ships have a soul but let me tell you, the INS Virat was something special, she had a distinct soul. The feeling you got when you were on board was unmatched, spectacular even. Lady Winston Churchill had launched her in the year 1953 and she became an integral part of the Indian Navy in 1986. That's a long time for a ship but the INS Virat just refused to show age. Each brief it, each upgrade made her deadlier, more formidable. She had the latest in guidance systems, weaponry, radar. Everything. She only got better. And this was only possible because of our excellent maintenance and engineering crews. They spared no effort whenever she docked for a service. Never was I forced to spend a day extra at a port due to maintenance issues. The job done by our Navy crews was so impeccable that the carrier held her own even when we participated in exercises with some of the world's biggest naval vessels. We sailed with the Americans who had sent the USS Nimitz and the USS Ronald Reagan. We later sailed with France's massive Charles de Gaulle, the largest warship in Western Europe. But the INS Virat matched wits with all of them. At no point during these vast training exercises did we feel a lacking in capabilities, such was her strength, such was the quality of upgrades she had received by our Navy. There may be a debate now that asks, do we really need aircraft carriers? My answer is a resounding yes. Having a carrier forces the enemy to completely rethink its strategy. Also, a carrier allows a country to operate a true blue water navy. We must understand that an aircraft carrier is not just a ship. It's actually a floating airfield that can deploy fighter jets at a moment's notice to counter strategies aimed at creating air superiority. Having fighters in the air is a strategic deterrent and an aircraft carrier allows you to do just that, deter. Which is why almost every country is now busy developing the next generation of aircraft carriers. The other pertinent point is trade. The Prime Minister has hit the accelerator on the economy. Much of the trade that's coming into India, its most essential needs, arrives via sea. In fact, 95% of India's trading by volume and 70% by value is carried out via maritime routes. Having an excellent navy then is imperative in keeping these trade routes, and the economy safe, and active. The Virat looked after us all with flair. But it was all about its dedicated crew, including the Harrier pilots, the Sea King pilots and the Kamov pilots who had the skill and the honor of landing their aircraft on this beautiful ship. There never was an incident involving any of the aircraft while approaching the ship. And landing on a stretch in the middle of the sea was quite the task. The INS Virat still had plenty of life left in her. She was only retired because crucial components belonging to the Harrier jets, which had a short takeoff and landing ability, ran short on supply. This is the chief reason why we had to reconsider her service with the Indian Navy. Overall then, the INS Virat remains one of the finest ships we have ever sailed and this, is a fond farewell. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment 